okay let's just work on save for letter functionality so if i just go to yeah we always try to start from web.php uh, because this is our main file uh, from here our, our application works so if i just say route and then get and then yeah and i think this would be post what do you think yeah of course it would be and then card save letter and then the product id of course which product you want to save for letter okay and then of course this will use the front front end the front controller front card controller okay card controller and then the save letter method and the name of the route would be something like card save letter so if we just copy this and then go to our index file and where's the link i think yeah there it is let's just create a new form and the action would be route save for letter and then item row id okay the method would be csrf and the button type submit btn btn link btn link dark and yeah the method of the form would be post okay if you just go to our controller and uh, sorry routes and uh, the method save letter if you just go to a controller the method does not exist right and now let's just check it uh, if you just reload the page and click on oh where's the word yeah there we go now you can see the method does not exist so let's just create the method save for letter and then get the ID and if you just say die and dump the ID and reload the page now we'll get the ID row ID okay that's nice uh, okay now let's just write the logic here so uh, first we need to say uh, just get the card okay get the card get the ID and then of course we will be work on uh yeah basically if you just go back uh once we click on save for letter this should be removed from here and then go to save for uh, of course that will be go but it should be removed from here and then we'll simply use the remove id it will just remove only one item from the card okay and then simply we need to say card instance and the instance there is we we already use the default instance now we have to use save for letter instance okay and then yeah add some item inside or save for letter instance and the item okay basically this item now it will get the complete item now the item id item name and then the quantity uh, i think the quantity and then the item price okay and of course associate the model as well app slash product and then finally redirect return redirect back to Return redirect back with a message, and this time the message would be item has been has been saved for letter, right? And then just reload the page and let's see what happens. Click here. Okay, that means the item has been uh, removed from there, and then it has been added save for letter. Let's just check. Uh, uh, how it works how it looks okay so uh, 
I think we we have some items in our you know the save for later instance okay so let's just scroll down and then inside of here uh, first we need to say if the cart instance save for letter count is greater than zero that means there is item then you'll just and if here okay and then just grab the uh, you know save for later items as we grab you know like that so let's just copy the all the data from here and then paste them but simply we need to change the instance that's default we need to say save for letter okay and for each so there's no error really the page there we go two items but we can say card instance save for a letter count yeah there is two items if I just go back add a product go to cart again and save for letter there we go now there are three items save for letter okay if you just remove them from here so uh, let, we need to work on these functionalities as well and instead of save for letter here we, we can say move to cart okay that would be uh, you know a good task okay uh, once again if you just go back let's say for example uh, I think yeah the names are not matching this is not macbook this is not something LED oh uh, yeah let, we, I think we just uh, we just make this problem we just solve this problem uh, if you just go to our HG docs and there we go public upload zero four and then zero two reload there we go I think that's working nice now okay uh, now if you just uh, add to card the something LED click here and again if I just add it now you can see it's trying to add it this is not a good idea we need to stop this duplicate right so how do we do that for example if it is already exist it has to tell us that this product is already exist in our card now if we just go back and you know uh, go to our shop again and then we can add this still we can add this there we go and the price is 9000 because this is tr three times added okay how do we prevent this so if you just go to our card controller and then up here we need to say we need to create a variable for duplicates duplicate dpl duplicate okay and then the instance which instance you want to prevent for oh yeah I think we need we don't need to use instance here first of all we need to call the variable the duplicate and then we will search inside that okay and then we'll pass a closure here and then we say card item and then the row ID we'll just pass them and use as a and of course we'll use request here now we say written the card item and then ID should be equal to this ID now if this is the case right we we must check this now if this is the case let's say for example uh, the duplicate is not empty not empty okay okay let's just crack the variable name then simply we need to say written redirect back
item is already in your card okay so now you can see something LED is already inside my card so if I just go back and again try to add this product now you can see item is already in your card now again go to card now you can see now if I just try to add because uh, you can see something LED is inside our save for letter it is exist here but if we just click here it is still added okay it is still added but we need to avoid this as well so simply we need to copy this functionality and then I think we need to paste it here and then we simply need to change the instance save for letter and and this time we will not use request here because we are not binding request we obviously we need to call the id here and then of course simple id here so let's just reload the page and let's say for example if i just go back to card and then add something led here inside a card and then click on save for letter now you can see it's not trying to add it because this is this is already exists okay right uh, already save for letter okay what next I think this is enough at the moment uh, in the next video we will try to you know uh, work on the save for letter remove uh, functionality and then move to cart functionality right so see you in the next video